Huawei have posted a teaser for the launch of the new P30 and P30 Pro, so today we're going to go through everything that we know so far. To stay up to date with the latest tech, please don't forget to hit subscribe followed by the bell. The teaser shows that they'll be launching both phones on the 26th of March, and while we've had leaks on the P30, there hasn't been much on the P30 Pro until now. WinFuture provided a render of what they believe the P30 Pro is going to look like. While the P30 has a triple camera setup, the P30 Pro is shown to have four in this render. We've got three stacked vertically, along with a fourth sensor on the right hand side, just under the flash. There was however a leak from Mobile World Congress of what is believed to be a photo of the P30 Pro, and this device here only has three cameras, meaning if this is correct, then WinFuture's renders are wrong. The camera system will most likely be Leica, given Huawei's partnership with Leica. However, there has been talk of Huawei using a Sony 38 megapixel sensor for these devices. The Sony sensor hasn't actually been announced yet, but there are rumors that Huawei are going to be the first manufacturer to use it. There are plenty of rumors surrounding the cameras, however, which include 10 times optical zoom, telephoto lenses, and a time of flight sensor. For those that don't know, time of flight sensors use infrared to calculate depth of field information, and this allows for things such as 3D mapping. The selfie camera on the front is also rumored to be 24 megapixel. It's claimed that the P30 Pro is going to have a 6.5 inch OLED panel and if this is true it will be a larger display than the Mate 20 Pro and given that Huawei manufacture their own chipsets it's pretty much guaranteed to be powered by the Kirin 980, the same as all of their flagships that will be released this year. In terms of RAM we can expect 8 gigs of RAM or maybe even 10 and storage is likely to be 256 gig. It's also expected that there will be external storage support. The P20 Pro had a battery capacity of 4000 mAh and the Mate 20 Pro was 4200, so we'd expect the 30 Pro to have roughly the same and it will of course come with quick charging. Both the P20 and P20 Pro didn't support wireless charging, even though they did have glass backs. The Mate 20 Pro does however, so we're hoping that this is going to be included in the P30 range. This will of course launch with Android 9 Pie in the form of EMUI, and the price for the P30 Pro is expected to be around £800, which is just over $1,000. Now of course, for people wanting the cheaper option, there's also the P30. We've had this leak that shows us the design of the upcoming phone, but as always, there's nothing to verify its accuracy. From the 360 renders though, we can see that they've opted for a full screen display with a water drop style notch. The display is rumored to be an OLED display at 6.1 inches and a full HD plus resolution of 1080 by 2340. The selfie camera inside the water drop notch is reported to be 24 megapixel, the same as the Pro. We can see from the leaked designs that the button layout is pretty much standard and what we would expect. The phone will of course be using USB Type-C and one thing that you may notice is the return of the 3.5mm headphone jack. So if these leaks are to be correct, then that's great news for music lovers. The absence of any kind of fingerprint sensor on the body leads to the assumption that it will of course have an in-display fingerprint scanner. Some rumors are suggesting that the sensor may be built into the power button, but personally I think that's very unlikely. Given that the P20 also had facial recognition, it would be safe to assume the P30 will have it as well. While its predecessor, the P20, had a dual camera setup on the rear, the P30 is upgrading to its triple camera layout stacked vertically. There's been no confirmation if this is going to be the same lenses used that the Pro offers, but it does seem quite likely. And given that this is Huawei, we can expect useful AI functions to work along with the camera application. Again, this is no doubt going to be using the Kirin 980 system on chip, and it will most likely come with two different storage options of 128 or 256, and it should be available with either 6 or 8 gigs of RAM. In terms of battery, there's been no leaked info yet, but I'd expect to see something around 3,400, given that this was the capacity of the P20. And in terms of pricing, there have again been no leaks, but the P20 was launched at about £600, which is $800, so we expect the P30 to be around the same. 
The launch will of course be on the 26th of March in Paris, so it won't be long until we have all the details. With Trump being against Huawei, this is no doubt harm their sales. While Trump claims Huawei are a security threat and is trying to get people to block them around the world, Huawei claim it's because the US are falling behind in the race for 5G. But whatever your opinion, luckily they can still be purchased elsewhere and used in the USA by the AT&T or T-Mobile carriers. But as always, I'd like to know your thoughts down in the comments. Do you like the look of either of these phones and are there any users in the USA that will be getting one? But thank you for watching the video and please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel.